Man up. You hear this too often. In the UK, 115 people commit suicide every week. 86 of those are male. That's roughly 75%. From a young age, children are taught that they have to hide their emotions, grow up, be a man, be a big boy. Crying's for girls. <coughs> Boys don't cry. This creates a mental mindset that if they follow their role models, it will stick to them in their adult ages. From the years of 2005 to 2017, uh, teenage depression raised by 52%. Adverts can talk. Men are depicted as the strong, muscular figure. This is just the wrong connotation to men. Adults feel that they have to bottle up their emotions and sweep it under the rug. This leads to adult depression, adulthood anxiety, and adulthood trauma. If they don't talk to people, depression rises, suicide rises. What can we do about it? trouble. Teenagers and young people feel that talking to other people, they'll be seen as cowardly individuals and weak. Hiding our emotions can lead to later in life troubles. As said on the board, adulthood trauma, adulthood anxiety and depression. Toxic masculinity. What is it? Well, we've all heard it before and the Oxford de definition is a set of attitudes and ways of behaving stereotypically associated with or expected of men. Why won't people stop stereotyping? I personally think that it's because it's, people think it's normalised and they think it's common. They keep using it in their day-to-day -day language, expecting that it's okay. It's just not the case. What can we do to stop the stereotyping? Well, first of all, we need to Face it and not run away from it. If you hear someone stereotyping, talking about it, you should face it, challenge them to their opinion. Say, why do you think this? Where is your evidence to back it up? Teach children in the early ages of school to tell them that it's not okay. I only learned in year eight about toxic masculinity. Before that, I had no idea. I had no idea what it was about. And I thought, oh, it must be okay if other people do it, right? So education and awareness, I think, are the key factors of this. Be the role model. Lead your friends and family into following your steps. Be the bigger person. Someone around you has been affected? Support them. Be patient. Be there as someone they can lean on. Listen to them, hear them out, and guide them. Let's stop this once and for all. Thank you.